Well, in our next story, Ryan Nakan reports on how a group of state and federal agencies teamed up for a Georgia workshop to take students out of doors to learn about soil and water, air, wildlife and forestry, and just maybe win a scholarship as well. We've all sat in a classroom learning about science, math, or even English, and thought about being in one place in one place only. Anywhere but there. And in the fields and ponds of Enigma Georgia's Lake Paradise, these students are getting that chance. Look up at the very top of it. At the 49th Annual Natural Resource Conservation Workshop, the USDA, NRCS, DNR, UGA, and Georgia Forestry Commission, along with others, are getting together to give these more than 150 kids a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to learn what no textbook is able to teach. It's very important to teach these kids about natural resources. When you have individuals, especially urban kids in cities, that think eggs and milk does not come from farm, it comes from grocery stores, we're bringing these kids here for a first-hand experience. We have a uh, high school age students here and we're teaching them about all the aspects of the natural resources, the soil, the water, air, wildlife, and forestry. One of the main goals here at the workshop is to put guns in the hands of children that don't normally deal with them so they can see it done in a safe environment. Pull. They may never want a gun, but they need to know what to do if they ever find themselves in a position where they're around them. Say they're the oldest child there and they find a gun, who's going to be in charge? Well, they need to be in charge so they know how to at least handle it safely until they call someone to get to it. So we're not encouraging anybody to have a gun, we're just showing them the safe ways to handle a gun in any situation. Thank you all. Say pull when you're ready. Pull. These students also took their shots at the archery range and also in the fishing ponds. <laughs> All to gain a perspective on why conserving our wildlife plays a key role in our state's future. It really makes me feel good to know that I'm helping out and teaching all these kids that there's more things in life besides concrete and video games. The workshop not only is used as a teaching tool, but it acts as a stepping stone to further these students' education to the next level. At the end of the workshop, the students will be tested on what they've learned throughout the week, with more than $17,000 in scholarships being awarded. The scholarship is fair game. You take a 200 question exam for the scholarship. We start with the high test scores until we run out of money. If you come to this camp, you have a chance to win a scholarship at the end to UGA, to Fort Valley State University, to Young Harris College and also some other scholarships that are not limited as long as you're majoring in a natural resource or environmental field. For almost 10 years now, a group from the U.S. Virgin Islands have visited this workshop to learn about Georgia's diverse landscape. Oh, the ones that are here right now, they adore it. They're, we're having so much fun. We've learned so much about Georgia, so much about the, the culture, the people. It's amazing. I'm very appreciative. I've enjoyed and learned so much and I would recommend it to anybody. They are our future, they are the next generation, they are our leaders. So the more education that we can get these kids involved in, such as natural resources, is best for the overall environment. Thank you. An environment that with the help of these agencies, hopes to have conservation at the forefront. For the Georgia Farm Monitor, I'm Ryan Nockham.